Hey guys, what is up? It is Kirby back in with another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to configure the open source drawing, painting, and inking program, Krita, for Microsoft services. I'm currently using the Surface Go, so this may be a little bit different for older or newer models. First, what you want to do is go into your Microsoft settings. Go to Devices, and then... Now, you would think that... Ignore touch input when I'm using my pen would be the option I choose. And you can click it if you want. But I know for myself and what I saw online, it doesn't quite work right. So what you want to choose instead is let me use my pen as a mouse in some desktop apps. When we get to Krita settings, you'll see why. Now that we're back in Krita, I have the default canvas up. What we want to do here first is go to Settings, Configure Krita, General, Tools, and make sure Enable Touch Painting is disabled, and that Enable Touch Rotation is enabled. Disabling Touch Painting makes the input from your hand not ink, but it also disables input from the Surface Pen, which is why we told the Surface Pen to act as a mouse in the settings. Next, go down to Tablet Settings and make sure Windows Ink is chosen. Finally, go to Display and make your preferred renderer OpenGL and restart your Krita. Right now, I am touching the canvas with my finger. Now I'm using my Surface Pen instead, and it's working. This is what your line should look like. This is good, but let's take it a step further with stabilization and dynamic pressure. On the right here, go to Tool Options and choose Stabilizer for brush smoothing. This will minimize jaggedness from your brush strokes. Make sure the delay is set to one pixel or less. I prefer zero. This is now what the line looks like. It's not really too different, but you can definitely see it's a little bit more smooth. Lastly, we're going to want to change the brush settings to make it pressure sensitive. Right now, I'm on the default pen setting over here. So we're going to want to hit function F5 to go into brush settings. In brush, right here, make sure the spacing is auto, then go on the right side and click size. You can either save this as a new brush preset or override default. I usually just override the default. So what this is gonna do is make dynamic pressure and more smoothing. So let's see, I'm gonna draw really light and then really thick and then really light again and then really thick so those are the settings that i use for my surface go in krita it helps me with my digital art which i am just getting into but these are the settings that i've found to work the best so i really hope this helped uh, make sure to like subscribe Leave a comment, um, make sure to tell me what you liked about the video, what you liked, what you disliked about the video, and comment if you want to know anything else. Um, thank you so much for watching, and have a nice day.